so without hello welcome today we want to learn how to create a tracking number for delivery or shipment of goods i'll be using this website for the purpose of this tutorial so i want you to take your time and follow me as i walk you through the step so here we go once you open to your website dashboard where you go to you first go to your because every um, recipient i mean a receiver of package is supposed to receive um, a message when the tracking details is uh, sorry when the 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 package is shipped so in order to be sure that the recipient receives his or her message or alert to know when the package is shipped you have to make sure you create sorry let me take this one to this side you create your you add the user you have to add the user to your database so now for the purpose of this tutorial i have i am using this email this email is um generated from the internet which i will also show you as soon as i create i finish creating the detail the uh, website sorry the tracking i'm going to show you the alert that we come in or rather let me paste the email first i want to show you something here um okay here is the email if you look at this place now you see that there is no message here no message yet let me refresh <coughs> can see there is no message here for now so i'm going back to continue my tracking details that i am creating so the name of the receiver is um, this maris abel so i could just create you can create a, any name for the person maris abel this one does not really matter but you have to create it before you continue so that you can actually get then this place is very important you, you remove this notification because when you send uh, this because you don't want the user to keep uh, maybe having receiving emails from you you can remove this but if you want them to keep receiving email like updates when you have a website update or you have a new package or new stuff that you are giving to your customers as uh, maybe added value you can add it so that when you send email they can receive it then this place rule you change this rule to client because the receiver is your client then you click add new just hold on it's loading up now okay we are done so the next thing now is to create the shipment so you go to shipment here is shipment you go to ship it's still loading it's still lo that's why uh, this one nothing is popping out so let's wait a little sorry i think the network is a bit poor so let's wait for it a little wow it's too slow all right so here we go now you go to shipment you click add shipment you just have to to be patient enough to follow me as i walk you through the step it's very simple it's very simple but sometimes we think that these things are magic uh, how long is it going to take me to create this but once you 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 put your head down to to 
go through the video, you will see automatically it has generated a tracking number for the client. This is a tracking number. This I just highlighted or this it. That's the tracking number. It's still loading anyway. That's why it's slow. But whilst it's loading, we can go on with the creating of details. So the shipper details. This is the person that is sending a package. So for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to use a random name. So let me say shipper name John Doe. Then the phone number. I just want to put this as the phone number. Then address. You can. I'm also using block A Villa View USA. For example, this is not a, a, a real address. I'm just using it. You can also say John Doe at mail.com. This is not also a real email address because of the purpose of the, the, the tutorial. I'm just using it. So this one is the receiver's detail. The receiver has been created already. So we are going to be using the, the, the receiver's details that we created. So I copy this. Then I bring it here, receiver's name. Then receiver's email, very important because this is going to allow the receiver to receive an alert that his or her package have been shipped. Then the phone number for the purpose of this, I am also using this. Then address, let's say, um, uh, Illinois. I don't know if I'm getting the spelling or let me just use the one that I'm familiar with. Um, New York. New York. All right. Then this area assign shipment to here the person we are sending this the, the shipment to is this maris abel this is the name maris abel so then the agent name you can this is agent one and employee employee this these two they are not going to appear on the shipment so that's why we are using only ship agent one and employee one but the one that is going to appear is this as the client then we go down to continue then ship type of shipment is it by air or whatever you can choose anyone so i'm using air freight for this then the the what i am sending let's say 26 that's the weight of what i am sending then the courier i am using for this i'm using crystal i'm using crystal flights then mode air freight then packages um, box then product product okay let me say wheels then you can decide to use box uh, then maybe treasure gold cars ring whatever you want to ship to the person then quantity i'm using two for this and then payment mode what is the payment mode this you can even add more payment uh, options depending on your choice so i'm using cash for this and then total freight. How many freight is it going to take from US to US? It's only one. So if you are shipping, for example, you are shipping from from uh, Germany to USA, you might go through UK, then to UK to US. Then it's going to take two. That's it will go on transit, and then from there to the um, to US now career reference number you can use anything as a reference number so for this purpose i'm using this zero zero one one 
slash zero five sorry zero five one zero slash then you take the it's not most but i normally use this if i want to the last four digit of the tracking two four seventeen two four seventeen then origin the origin is from usa united states and then the career is this you can see we have you uh, dhl usps fedex and the rest of them you can even add more then destination is also usa usa then time departure time whatever time you want to use pick up date uh let me say thursday then pick up time you can choose anything as your pick up time depending on your choice expected delivery date is uh, let me say tomorrow being wednesday then um what else okay you can add anything here package in good condition whatever you feel like adding i'm rushing because my battery is low then this place location <coughs> you can say uh, sorting facility then status booked for delivery we have not shipped it's just booked then remark um, package is ready so i think we are done then you can just you know go through to be sure that everything is okay time you can put the time of departure is let's say 13 that's by one o'clock then that's all then okay here is very important quantity is two then pieces that's to know what is it carton or whatever i'm using carton then description is um wears so let me put clothes clothing then the length of it use your initiative to know the length let me use this because i'm rushing the width 50 height 70 this is measured by centimeter then 26 is the weight i think we are done then you now do what publish click publish so that's all so we are waiting for our cracking uh, sorry our tracking number well we are waiting for it to be updated so that is how you can actually create a tracking number this is it it has been created see post published now i want to go and track it let's see this is it sorry i want to check the the email to see if i have received an alert so i refresh this again is refreshing why it is refreshing let's track this package that i have just created um okay track i just hope that my laptop will not go off let me go back here to check all right here we go you see the email look at it assign shipment it has come this is it email alert is here so when you go down you can see the details of this it with the template dear maris abel shipment number this has been assigned to you so when you copy this from here to here you can actually track your details now let me track it 
sorry not talk Here is it, then track. <laughs> oh God, the network is poor, but this is just it. I have just walked you through from the beginning of creating a tracking details to the end of it. Here we go the tracking is ready or the tracking page here is it this is it receivers details shippers details then shipment status delivery booked for delivery then the package and every other thing here is it every other thing that we need to know about our delivery here is it here is it everything is showing you can even generate your invoice from here that's like an airway bill you can generate it here that's what i just clicked so that is how to do it i hope you enjoy this video please if you do kindly give me a thumbs up and also like and share if there is anything you also want to know drop 